Tell me more. Philadelphia Inquirer did an investigative report on the old veteran stadium, which no longer exists. They went and bought four packages of the artificial turf from veteran stadium, sent it to medical labs for investigation of toxins. After about three months, the labs got back to the Philadelphia Inquirer and said the samples of the turf that you had purchased contain 16 forever chemicals, chemicals that don't dissolve over time, oh chemicals God. that if they got in your body, yeah. stayed in your body. Why did the Philadelphia Inquirer begin this? Because six Philadelphia Philly players from that era that played at Veterans Stadium have all died of brain cancer, the exact same form of brain cancer, all between the ages of 56 and 60. Wow. That includes Tug McGraw, Darren Dalton, Kenny Brett, John Vukovic, etc. The lab indicated that these toxins cause liver cancer, kidney cancer, and now linked to a very remote form of brain cancer. All six of those Philly players died from the exact same remote brain cancer that you hardly ever find in males. Whoa. Amazing story, connect the dots. I guess, and this rumor had been out there, that there were issues with that turf, which was put in by Monsanto. And then the second turf that the Phillies bought from Monsanto, they were in that stadium from 1977 to 2001. Mm -hmm. There's like 523 Philly players have been exposed to these forever chemicals that may have been in taken into their body that never got dissolved. Connect the dots. It's a scary story. I don't know who you blame. Do you blame the Phillies? Do you blame the city of Philadelphia that ran Veteran Stadium? Does Monsanto as a company still exist? I don't know that. So that's the story that, that just broke uh, late Wednesday night. I don't know where it goes from here, but oh, what a scary story. Well, isn't Monsanto the company that makes Roundup, you know, that you spray to kill all the weeds? And, past um, tense. Yeah, past tense. So, I mean, this is interesting because, you know, this going back to the era of those multipurpose stadiums when they did have the artificial turf and guys are blowing out their knee on the 40-yard line. But, you know, of all places, Philadelphia, you know, <laughs> makes you wonder, you know, were the fans throwing stuff on the field or, you know, but to, to take it seriously – the AstroTurf has come a long way in technology. Back in the 70s, it was like rolling out carpet on concrete. Now it's a lot better cushioned. It's a lot, it's less toxic, I guess you could say. Uh, but this is tragic that it's led to the death of Major League base Baseball players. Well, the, the, they're trying to connect the dots here and the fact that each of these Philadelphia players who were there for a long period of time in their career all got the same remote type of cancer in the brain and that cancer has been linked to some of those forever chemicals that were found in that ingredient. Connect the dots. I, I wow. don't know where the story's going to go. It's far from over, but that's the late breaking story in Philadelphia. Next.